What's up YouTube, thanks for kicking it with me today. I got a package from Adidas, let's unbox this thing and see what's inside. Here we have my first look at the Ultra Boost 20 in the all red colorway. Wow, in hand, these shoes are really loud and vibrant. Let's take a quick look at the materials. Of course, like every other Ultra Boost, you have the prime knit upper along the toe box and running up the tongue. Along the toe box though, is some stitched in fibers and I'm assuming this is for 4 foot reinforcement. Along the side panels are the lace caging systems. It's a single plastic piece with the 3 stripes branding also stitched in and threaded in. Unlike the older Ultra Boost models where the cages had 3 stripes cut out. The layer of prime knit along the tongue is nice and thin but it doesn't appear padded like the older Ultra Boost models. The rear end of the upper is actually made of what appears to be a smooth neoprene like material and it also appears nice and padded around the Achilles area. There is a hit of orange on the Achilles area but I'm not sure if this is reflective or not. The insole says prime blue imprinted on which is Adidas way of indicating their use of recycled plastic waste into the making of this shoe. The midsole is the craziest part. You got the classic boost technology but in all red. There also appears to be more boost volume in general than compared to its predecessors. More boost seems to be concentrated along the heel but it tapers off as you make your way towards the mid and the forefoot. Lastly, you have the continental rubber outsole but the pattern and pods look a little more rugged and has more sharp lines and tread again compared to the old ultra boosts. Let's take a quick look at how these Ultra Boost 20s compare to the Ultra Boost 1.0s. The prime knit upper has a different weaving pattern, and as mentioned earlier, the 20s have a stitched in fiber pattern along the toe box for that 4 foot reinforcement that the 1.0s did not have. The tongue on the 20s are thin and are not padded unlike the 1.0s. The caging system on the 20s have stitched in branding instead of the 1.0 stripes cut out. The trapezoid heel cup on the 20s have a hollow cutout whereas the 1.0 has a solid piece. And I'm pretty sure there is more volume of boost on the 20s compared to the 1.0s. Again on the 20s the boost has quite a higher rise underneath the rear foot but it tapers as you move towards the mid and forefoot. The 1.0s seem to have a little more uniform distribution of boost throughout the midsole. Lastly, the continental rubber pods are a little more rugged and dense appearing on the 20s compared to the 1.0s. These Ultra Boost 20s, specifically the all red colorway, are loud and wild in person. Most of y'all know that Kanye West pioneered the all red sneaker movement ever since the whole red October Yeezys came out. This isn't a typical colorway that I'd wear, but I thought I'd step out of my comfort zone a little bit with these. Let me know what y'all think though, is the all red sneaker still a hot look or is it played out? So I plan on wearing these for 2-3 to three weeks straight for all of my runs and all of my workouts. I'll probably put somewhere between 50 and 100 miles over the next several weeks so be on the lookout if you're interested in seeing how these shoes perform and how they hold up over time. Make sure you subscribe so that you can get an in-depth analysis of these shoes after some prolonged wear and tear. While you're here, click the thumbnail to the top right corner to watch my previous Ultra Boost related video. I also have some more Boost related content along the way so please subscribe for that as well. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and stay tuned for the update on these 20s. Peace.